It's a moment that each of these nominees will never forget. This morning's Oscar nominations were memorable and historic, with the most diverse nominations ever, including Stephen Yun, the first Asian American Best Actor nominee, Riz Ahmed, a Muslim Best Actor nominee, and Chloe Zhao, the first woman of color in the running for Best Director. I can't lie, a part of me is is excited. I feel like that is like the organic nature and impulse behind any kind of representation. While this film critic is pleased, she says there's more work to be done if award shows want to stay relevant and popular. I think we're we're a bit more savvy these days, and I think that it the award shows are really facing um, a decline in the belief in them. After a peak in the early 2010s, ratings for the Emmys, Oscars, Grammys, and the Golden Globes have been dropping steadily. Let us explain what this even is. Take last month's Golden Globes, where more people tuned in to watch the new Equalizer than the star-studded show. Oh, that was awesome. Tonight is going to be the biggest outdoor event this year besides the storming of the Capitol. And just like the Golden Globes, last night's Grammys saw ratings plummet over 60%. A friend referred to this as Academy Awards Endgame here. And we're going to see if anyone at all um, watches this. And, and, whether, and once the world tunes this out, there's no guarantee they're coming back. Star Wars fans, I can't hear you! This Canadian entertainment reporter says what's missing are major mainstream contenders like A Star Is Born. And when you have those big blockbuster movies that have hit the theaters that are critically acclaimed but also very popular in terms of box office, and you see and you, people get behind those movies, and this is why we saw a bump two years ago in the Oscar ratings. That's the real magic of the movies. This year, producers are promising the nominees will be there in person, hoping better representation translates into a rise in ratings. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.